OK, now let's return to the, the cubic equation that we had a couple of videos ago. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. And what I want to do is I want to solve f of x is equal to 0 and then sketch the cubic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the factor theorem in order to do this. So in the first video on the factor theorem, we looked at f of 1. OK? And what we get is 1 cubed, take away 6 lots of 1 squared, plus 11 lots of 1, take away 6. OK? 1, take away 6, plus 11, take away 6, which is equal to 0. OK? So therefore, x minus 1 is a factor. OK, so remember that concluding statement. Now, from that point onwards, OK, once you've found a factor, you can then use polynomial division. So you can divide the cubic by x minus 1. That's going to give you a quadratic, which you should then be able to factorise. There is potential that you can't factorise it, OK? But in this case, you will be able to. And from this video, I would probably suggest that you have a go at that. So divide this cubic by x minus 1, get a quadratic, factorise it, and make sure that you get to the same answer as the one that we're going to find here. I'm going to continue using the factor theorem. Um, so next... Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to be looking for factors of 6, OK? So I explained that the three factors, if there are three factors, then the three numbers here, OK? So we had a minus a, a minus b, and a minus c. They're going to multiply to make minus 6. So I'm looking for only factors of 6. So I might try 2 next. Let's try f of 2. So f of 2 would be 2 cubed, take away 6 lots of 2 squared, plus 11 lots of 2, take away 6. So we've got 2 cubed, that's 8. Take away 6 lots of 2 squared, so 6 lots of 4, so that's minus 24. Plus 22, take away 6. 8 take away 24 is minus 16, plus 22 um, gets me 6. Take away 6 is 0. So therefore, x minus 2 is a factor. So I now have two factors of f. So let's see if I can get the third. So next, I will try, well, 1 times 2 is 2, so 2 times 3 will make the 6. OK? And because I've got here minus 1 times minus 2, then the next factor's got to be, well, the next one's got to be x minus 3 in order for me to get minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3. We'll make that minus 6. OK, so f of 3 is 3 cubed. Take away 6 lots of 3 squared plus 11 lots of 3. Take away 6. So that's 27. Uh, that's 9, so 6 9s are 54. Plus 33. Take away 6. So 27 take away 54 is minus 27, plus 33 is 6, take away 6 is 0. Therefore, x minus 3 is a factor. Now, in general, once you've found one factor, the polynomial division route is a lot quicker. But what we've done, using the factor theorem three times, is that we've shown that f of x could be written as x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. OK? Those three multiply together. Three linear factors. So, now that it's in factorised form, what I can now do is solve f of x is equal to 0. So... Solving f of x is equal to 0, that's x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 equals 0. So either x is equal to 1, 
or x is equal to 2, or x is equal to 3. And this identifies the three points of where the cubic crosses the x-axis. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Now, we can also tell where it's crossing the y-axis by looking at this number here, or minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3, which makes the minus 6. So we know that the curve must go through minus 6 on the y-axis. Now, a cubic, in this case, with a positive x cubed, must start in the bottom left, and so it must go through minus 6, go through the 1, go back on itself to go through 2, go back on itself to go through 3, and then move towards the top right. And so this is a sketch of y is equal to f of x, and this was me solving f of x is equal to 0. Okay? So what we've seen is that the factor theorem can do the whole job for us. In general, it's quite long-winded, and we would usually just do it once in order to then use polynomial division.